Getting from point A to point B isn't always the easiest for small town Montana when it comes to traveling for sporting events because sometimes your closest opponent could be several hours away. But what happens when a national park separates you? Well, it presents probably one of the most unique opportunities for travel nationwide. The state of Montana is known for a lot of things, stunning nature, diverse wildlife. It's why they call it the treasure state. But one of its many jewels not known to many is the true essence of what small Montana is all about. Yellow buses are the norm for most schools across America, especially for team travel. But when it's the middle of winter and a national park separates you and your conference opponent in Montana, there's only one way to make the 54 mile trek from West Yellowstone to Gardner, and that's by snow coach. But I don't know any other place that has something this unique to get to a basketball game. But it's of course easier said than done. Very few people get to do it, and even our kids, it's a once or twice in a lifetime opportunity. While most of the park roads are only accessible by either snowmobile or snow coach, even that is limited. So if you want to venture into the seemingly untouched parts of Yellowstone during the winter, where wildlife are their most free. You have to go through a business that has a contract and then has the willingness to provide it. But not every business can obtain a contract. In West Yellowstone alone, there are only 11 available, and it's a 10-year bidding process to acquire one. Just uh, in the last 10 years, it's been harder and harder to get on a snow coach, even to get into the park. A big reason for that is to cut down on emissions, noise and stress that can affect wildlife roaming Yellowstone, which is why there's also a limit to how many times a business can access the park on any given day, with the magic number being an average of three. We're fortunate in these small communities, we have great companies because you're, if you're giving up a tour, that means you're giving up the opportunity for someone else that may be a paying customer to do that. So it's kind of a neat thing and it's not a hard ask. And this is where the true essence of small town Montana comes to light because competitors or not, it was a community effort to make the Wolverines cross park travel a reality. Jerry had an extra vehicle. I had the ability to take a permit so we can borrow or use each other's and, and we do that a lot. We help each other out. Well, I don't have any left. Um, so I'm going on three bears permit because they have some left and then the drivers are all donating their time at least my driver is donating his time because he wants to go over and watch the game now growing up with yellowstone as your backyard opportunities like this may seem common but that's only because of the people that make up those towns forever putting their community first you know we're all wolverines so we'll be wolverines our whole lives in west yellowstone ashley washburn mtn sports